I have many favorite places to farm inside of Diablo Immortal, but today we're focusing in on one, which is my newest favorite, and I'm gonna give you the strategy that I've been using in Storm Point, specifically Storm Point Keep. You can see the square of the area and how you could easily make a square rotation around getting all of the corners, picking up a bunch of enemies and a bunch of rewards along the way. As many of you also may know, I typically like to farm in the library. Inside of the library, you have a nice spot as well, but this one was the one of the day, and it worked out very well. I was able to grab a whole bunch of monstrous essence, a bunch of legendary pieces of gear, and uh, just a whole bunch of regular stuff that I could use as resources to upgrade other things. Now, something you may notice right now is that I am following Radagon. This is a friend of mine inside of Diablo Immortal, and this is something that I actually recommend that many of you do if you're struggling with your grind or if you need to do a little bit of grinding or open world farming, even when you don't have the time. Let me set the scene here for you. I had a bunch of bounties to do. I was out running a bunch of bounties and Radagon came through. I found a hidden lair and we did it together. He asked if I want to do some open world farming and I said, actually, I have to go take care of the kids. And I said, I'll join you if I could follow. And he's like, yeah, cool. He's gonna do his farming. And what I did was I went with him, partied up and just followed. I hit the follow button. This is a great strategy when you don't have 10 minutes to play. Maybe you could hit your ability button. As you'll notice, I'll hit my skills now and then just to add a little bit of DPS to help out a little bit with the, with the farm. But I'm not actually controlling the joystick for the majority of my time here. Most of the time, I'm just following and collecting all the rewards as you go. Then what I'll do when my satchel becomes full, I'll go turn it in, get the rewards and, you know, break everything down at the blacksmith and then come back and continue the following. I'll also do this or I will stop following if I see monstrous essence drop because, uh, yeah, I want to pick that up and I want to make sure I get to the 10 and turn those in whenever I do get 10 in the bag. Also, we'll collect our rewards along the way. Now, something that I recommend people do, and something that honestly I don't do enough, is maybe set up one or two nights a week where you get together with a party. There he is in his account right there, giving a little bit of love to what he's got going on. Um, take 40 minutes, and everyone follow one person along those 40 minutes. And every 10 minutes, if you get a party of four, you rotate who is following. Doing this is gonna give you 40 minutes of farming per day or the day that you do that with only a 10 minute time investment. And sometimes open world farming in Diablo Immortal, it's not what we got time for. We got all these great new PVP events coming to the game, all these different things happening inside of the game right now that I would rather play than go run circles and open world farm. So being able to use the follow feature is actually something that's kind of nice. And if you could set up a party of four, maybe with your war band mates or clan mates or just friends inside of the game, sometimes I can even find randoms that are down with it as well. It's a really nice way for you to be able to keep up that grind. Plus you get a whole bunch of kills when you get with someone like Radagon as well, which gains that experience as well. Now, I just gained a Paragon level, perfect timing. This is something that also happens because you are gaining XP, not only from experienced globes, but also from any kills that you may get around the way if you're hitting those skill buttons. Notice there was just a piece of monstrous essence up top. As soon as I noticed that, you know I'm gonna be wanna check, check that out and uh, grab that so I can turn all that in at the altar. But this is my new favorite spot. Storm Point is, they got a lot of enemies for us to attack a lot of enemies for us to take down notice i checked to make sure that the satchel wasn't completely full and i i'm noticing now 656 kills and i keep missing that piece of monstrous essence up top it's bothering me right now it's the ocd in me i believe but this is the spot let me know your favorite spots inside of the game to farm if it's not one that i already do farm i'll check it out myself if it is i maybe pat you on the back and say good job you found yourself a good spot. Just make sure that you're not running around and farming when you have a full satchel because then you're gonna just be wasting your time and have to head back and collect everything and do all that. Set up your parties, party of four, have some fun and uh, be making the best use of your time inside of the game because with so many new features coming, 
Sometimes we just don't want to open world farm. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video because I know that you already subscribed. And if you made it this far, hashtag made it in the comment section below. Let your boy know.